This is another in the first read series where I read a poem by a poet I don't know or know very little about. And this one I'm going to read a poem by Julia Coetz. Coetz. Sorry, Julia. Um, a poet I don't know at all, but I'm interested in seeing more about. This is from Good River Review. Uh, I just like the title of this uh, journal, and it tends to be fairly um, environmentally focused. Not all of it, though. On Distance, after Jericho Brown. I'd like to look at a poem's form before I actually look at it and read it every time. I never read this poem at all, so I'm just going to look at the form. It's you know, broken down into two-line stanzas. There's a indention in every stanza here after a straightforward line one. Sky, rain, rain, um, river, river, lived lived. Um, trying to see if there's a connection between push, pushing, live, live. So the poem is a measure uh, of the sky in the distance, a column of... So the lines don't have a similar meter. They don't seem to have a rhyme scheme, although they are connected because the, the word rain connects these two stanzas. Love connects these two stanzas. River connects these two stanzas. Push and connects these two. And lived connects these. Live. So they are linked stanzas based on the words here. Beyond that, I'm just going to read it at this point and see what we can come up with. A poem is a measure of the sky in the distance. That's a beautiful line, so like a really good sense of sound here. A measure of the sky in the distance. Well, this is, makes as much sense, I think, as anything a poem can be said to be, and I don't mean that as dismissive. I think that's, a, like I said, a beautiful line. But it's trying to measure something that's difficult. The column of rain in the distance. Is that like the measure, or is it measuring the distance to the column? And distance, of course, is a repeating word in here. It's a lot of repeating words, it looks like, in this poem. A column of rain reminds me of a poet I once loved. It's kind of like a loose associative um, process. You know, poem is like measure the sky, column of rain, the distance, distance there, column of rain reminds me of a poet I once loved. This like loose connection between the ideas and they're kind of jumping around, which is weirdly, I don't think, uh, that unusual. I think that's probably how it happens in people's heads lots of times, especially poets who are focused on words. One word will kick into another that might be about a completely different thing, but the word's there. To remember this woman is to love the 17 bridges across one river. So this remembrance brings this love of, I mean, I'm assuming this is a memory, but we don't know at this point. Bridges I walked across that river for a month one summer. Like there are 17 bridges across one river, and that's connected to remembering this woman. We don't see that straightforward connection. We're just kind of led through that kind of very loose connection between things. She, she took a Czech language course and learned how to say mouth in Czech. How's the word for it's raining sound like it's like pushing in English? It's raining sounds like pushing the ing's in English. And this kind of loose connection again. There's this person who you're reminded of that's like, like, reminds you of loving the 17 bridges. The bridges remind you of summer. That person took a Czech language course, and now we're back to like English and how the things sound similar. One evening, the rain pushed against the tall dormitory where we lived, and we're back with this person again for just a month. I'm assuming that's the we. I think of where we live. Lived. A poem is a measure of the sky. This is back to the beginning. There's kind of like circularity of this conversation here. There's a bunch of like little ideas thrown in together. There's a memory at the heart of this. There's a person at the heart of this. There's a city at the part of this. But it also connects to the, to the poetic process and how anything is put into a poem in general. This kind of like oddly cyclical jumping between inspired ideas that's being played on in here. Really like this one. Um, I'm not sure that I completely understand all of 
what the poem is trying to say, but I don't know that it matters that much in this. It's actually so beautifully put together. The poem itself, the language itself, is actually, I think, very well handled. Um, uh, very much just a pleasure just to hear it. So very interested in learning more about uh, Julia Coetz. This is uh, some information about her. They have it on there. There's even a website here for this person. So worth checking out. Like I said, Good River Review um, on distance. <laughs>